Joining us via Skype to speak on Northern Governors and the coordinated national approach to the COVID-19 pandemic is Saidu Bashiru. Thank you very much for joining us. Hello, thank you for having me. All right, so we heard recently that the Northern state governors are opting out of imposing um, a lockdown completely. What version of this did you hear and what might be the reason for this? Um, I, I, they did not propose, that they did not um, disagree with the lockdown. Rather, uh, what was concluded at that meeting was that each state would need to have a state-by-state -state approach in dealing with this issue. Now, would, uh, would, if you look at the start of uh, the spread of uh, coronavirus in the country, you'd notice that some states in the north have not been affected. So what they're saying is, why don't you deal with the states where these things are prevalent, like in Lagos, uh, Abuja, and FCT, lock the, uh, the boundaries there so that uh, the virus will not get to them, rather than taking uh, or resorting to lockdown, which, uh, in their own opinion, would have adverse uh, economic effect on their people. Yeah, but considering the nature of the virus, that some persons might be asymptomatic and still be moving around carrying this virus, um, what is the risk? What the lack of lockdown? Yes, you'd remember that this lockdown, we've been on lockdown uh, for a while now. Uh, if there were cases, if we had asymptomatic, uh, traumatic cases, by now you should, should have seen uh, the symptoms. However, it is good that we take preventive measures, but we should also remember that in the north, poverty is prevalent there. If you don't have, if you're not reporting cases and you're shutting them down, preventing them from going to their farms, event, eventually you're going to have unrest and you, you have a bigger crisis there because uh, we don't have... Uh, confirmed cases in some of this region. For instance, in Kano, tonight, there's a lockdown that will be imposed, I think, from 10 p.m., because uh, they just announced their first uh, fatality. Somebody died yesterday. You know, So it's going to be, the approach would be state-by-state state approach rather than taking uh, a regional uh, consensus to shut down. Um, still staying with that, um, actually, there's been concerns that this would send a wrong signal at a time when uh, we're looking to see a united front against the potentially deadly um, pandemic across the country. Must we wait until there are symptoms or there are cases in these places to begin to take measures? No, I, I, I don't think so. I, well... Um, again, this effort has to be a coordinated effort by all the state governors and the uh, presidency as well. Um, I see um, all the regions trying to, um, you know, struggle to handle this. First, I'll say uh, from the central, the presidency, we need to carry out more tests. Testing is very important. You can imagine a country with a population of 200 million. We've only carried out about 5,000 tests. Uh, and we have about 300. Uh, now it's, um, I think, 400 cases, 407 confirmed cases. In Ghana, with a population of just a little over 20 million, they've carried out over 37,000 tests. And they have about 300 and something confirmed cases. So we need to emphasize on tests, test more people. And that way we would be able to, you know, confirm who uh, has or doesn't have this uh, virus. Now, concerning the um, friction you're talking about, I don't think we'd have friction if there is a coordinated effort between the center and the states. But that doesn't seem to be the case. There doesn't seem to be uh, a coordination um, among um, the leaders in these various states. Each is, you're saying, um, trying to work with their peculiar uh, situation as it stands. What does that have to say? Uh, what does that say, rather, about the unity of purpose? Some are actually alluding to the fact that politics is being played even now. 
Absolutely. We can't rule that out. There's the pol political side of it. Uh, but my advice would be, you know, to put that aside, you know, because a lot of lives will be lost. I, I'm honestly, um, we are very lucky in Nigeria here. I don't know what strain of this uh, coronavirus we have here, but we've not recorded as much casualty as we're seeing in the Western world. And this should be a pointer to our leaders that this is a time to put aside all their political differences. Yes, we agree that the governors have uh, executive powers to carry out some functions, but, you know, they still need the uh, center, you know, to coordinate some of these things. Procurement of some of this equipment would have to come from the federal government. Coordination of NCDC, the functions they are carrying out now, would have to work with the state uh, governments as well if we must combat this thing before, you know, it breaks out. If this thing breaks out in the north, honestly, what we're talking about here would be a serious, serious issue. So we need to address this and work together. All right, thank you very much for joining us on the news.